Next up is a skincare line with a potent natural ingredient. Hi, Sharks. I'm Christina Funke Tegbe. I'm from Houston, Texas, and I'm seeking $250,000 for 10% of my company. Growing up, my family shared with me the richness of my African heritage, including African beauty secrets. Growing from the shea tree in Africa, this nut produces what we all know as shea butter. And boy, did I love this moisturizer. So it's no reason my aunt in Nigeria persuaded people traveling from her village to pack tubs of pure shea butter to my family in Texas. And when I say tubs, I mean this beauty right here, yeah. wrapped in cellophane. Fancy, right? With sharks, this thing is magic. Inspired by my own heritage, I took this little gem and turned it into 54 thrones. Standing for the 54 countries in Africa, we partner directly with African cooperatives to create our line of clean beauty products while promoting trade, not aid. Our products are decadent and divine, from our Glow Body Oil to our Moroccan Body Mask and our award-winning African Beauty Butters. 54 Thrones is here to celebrate the beauty, the luxury, the romance the motherland has to offer. So Sharks, who's ready to spread the 54 Thrones wealth with the world? Nice Great job. Great presentation. <laughs> There's some Pretty samples packaging in front here. of you for you to try. These are some of our best sellers. What, what should we try first? My favorite is our African beauty butter and the Egyptian lavender and Moroccan mint scent. So that would be the- You gotta tell me what we use these things for, right? <laughs> so our products are universal. You can use them from hair to toe. The beauty butters are our best-selling hand and body butter. Christina, they're very oily. Obviously, they must be by design. So they're a butter, right, which is different from lotions. Many people are used to water-based lotions, and water actually draws out the moisture in your skin. But shea butters and other botanical oils, they seal the moisture into your skin. You don't need much. You don't need much, exactly, Kevin. I think I used too much. <laughs> you probably did. <laughs> you need a towel. Okay, let's dig into the business itself. So when did you start this? Give us the background. Yes. So we just turned five years old last month, and it's been a long journey. I'm a first-generation American. My father uh, immigrated here from Nigeria. He was a janitor, he was a cook, all this while in school to be a CPA. He always taught us to have pride in who we were, have pride in being Nigerian, and just have pride in ourselves. And so I went to school, I have two masters, I went to Tulane University, wow. Wow. I have an MBA, and I also have a master's in healthcare administration. Oh, wow, good for so you. So I worked as a consultant for a few years, and then I quit. Um, I had this calling that I wanted to learn more about my heritage. I wanted to learn the language. I wanted to learn my history. So I quit my job. Um, I didn't quit my job to just start this business, but I quit my job because I just, I, I had a calling, right? I cashed out my 401k and I just started traveling around Africa. And while I was there, I was just drawn to all of the makers, the hardworking women making argon oil, making shea butter. And so I tagged along with them. I learned about these African beauty secrets. And then I said, you know what? I want to start a brand and I want to work directly with everyone that I've met. What are your sales? So last year we made a half a million uh, dollars and that is with a very tight marketing budget. Last year, I spent about $8,000 in marketing. That's it. Wow. That's it. A lot of our traction came from word of mouth. We also were on Oprah's favorite things. So that ah. tin that you have in front of you was part of Oprah's favorite things. What were your sales before Oprah? We had already hit about $300,000 in revenue. Okay. Um, and a lot of that kind of comes from the things that were happening in our society last year. Black-owned brands were getting a lot of um, attention. People were finding them and loving them and loving our products. So it really wasn't a matter of there not being worthy Black-owned brands. People just couldn't find us. We didn't have the resources to, to Christina, be on the are you seeing that on the show. Are you seeing that being sustained at all? Absolutely. Um, I have found, people that found us last year are repeat customers. We have people that are stocking up on our stuff. And so we're on set to make a million this year. Wow. We're actually gonna be launching in Sephora. Whoa, um, oh, whoa. We're gonna be launching online in Sephora US and Canada. Wow. And this holiday season, we're actually gonna be expanding to Nordstrom. Are you selling direct to consumer we're as well? We're selling DTC on our site. Last year, we were at 75% DTC, and that's counting the Oprah's favorite things. Yep. This year, it's gonna flip. 
We're going to be at about 25% DTC and about 75% you retail. You have enough that's... margin to support the retail channel? So the butter set that you have in front of you, that cost me $12 to make, and I sell it for $80. Wow. wow. You the sell other... it for $80? Good margins. You know, I cannot fault you for anything today. You did a beautiful pitch. There's only one problem for me. I gotta be passionate about everything I invest in. I'm just not feeling that. I'm out. Christina, Thank you. Christina, I respect that. you're a rock star. I mean, everything that you've presented to us has been right on from a business perspective. Problem is, I don't understand what these things do. In order for me to come up with ways to help you, I have to have a fundamental understanding, and I just don't. So for those reasons, I'm out. Thank you, Mark. So your presentation was flawless. Um, the great value of Mr. Wonderful is my millions of followers. And I sell a lot of stuff on QVC, too. But I just don't see myself sitting there saying, I'm the right brand representative. <laughs> but that's why you have me. No, I'm I the get right it. brand representative. I get it. It's, it's sort of, as a pure investment, uh, I find it quite interesting, because I think it's going to work. I really do, because I think you're very good at selling it. But I'm not adding any value other than money. And everything I do, I add the, the Mr. Wonderful magic. Mr. Wonderful, you are an advertising genius. That's, that is what I need. That's I so took $8,000 <laughs> and turned that into a half a million dollars last year. Well, listen, you're very, very, very impressive. I recently did a deal with a couple of young women who had created not only a cosmetic line, but a skincare line that goes with it. Unfortunately, you are so competitive with what we're already doing, I have to be out. Thank you, Lori. You know, I want to tell you, you are so backable as an entrepreneur. You are so impressive. Your story is so compelling. You know what? My wife has worked for over eight years at Neutrogena, so I can almost hear her whispering in my ear that skincare is not a fad. It's something that's here to stay. I'm willing to give you half the money if one of my fellow sharks will come in with me. Sharks are out. Nirov is interested in Christina's shea butter based skincare line, 54 Thrones, but he wants another shark to partner with him. Okay, I'll do 250 for 20%. If you want to come in for half, you're there. And uh, I'm we will there. back you and we'll blow this thing up. I am completely in on the offer because I think what you're building here is not just a company, I think it is a movement and I'd like to be part of it. Can we do 250 for 15%? Think about this, it, it makes me be a 7.5% guy. That's just not a lot. 7.5% of a $100 million no, I company get that. is I, that, still listen, a I get good it. But think about, think about the story here. You've got an entrepreneur here with a proven track record of growing a behemoth, and in his family, some incredible expertise in your sector. You have me, which has a massive following socially and a lot of television exposure. Listen, okay? listen, I believe in you so much that I'm willing to put in half of the amount, just like Kevin, and you can give him more equity to satisfy, I'm not gonna say the greedy Mr. Wonderful, but I, just I need want 10%. to support you. I so what's 10%. the offer? What would be the offer? So you want 250 for 15%, right? I want 250 for 10%. You raised it again. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing that deal. So, I'm not so look, do that we, we got to stick to our guns on this one. So I'll let Kevin do the whole thing if he wants. If you would like both I of us to be in, of, I want both. Of course, sharks. you should have two sharks. But think about it. You've got to. You have to let us wet our beaks in the butter. Will you do 250 for 17 percent? It's so close to 20. Will you please do But he said he'd give guys, you more I, equity, so I, if he our takes... Our platform is trade, so 17 not eight. To 10. I'll take seven, he can take 10. Yeah, we'll seven do and it for half, seven and a half. Yeah. Fine, seven and a half. 17 and a half percent, 250,000. Yes! Here we are. Yes! Congratulations. Two sharks. Great job. Thank you. Great job. Congrats. Thank Fantastic you. Fantastic presentation. Thank you. Sharks. <laughs> so it's just 
doubly everything. I cannot wait to call my partners in Ghana and Morocco and tell them what happened because I told them I was going to Shark Tank. <laughs> and I don't know if they knew what it was, but they prayed for me and it worked out.